The ice cream cone is the original edible container. Invented over a century ago, it adds crunch to the melt-in-your-mouth taste of ice cream. And it's one container that doesn't end up in the waste stream. So you could also say it adds a bit of virtue to the guilty pleasure of the double scoop. The first ice cream cones were rolled waffles, and today's cones are simply modern versions of that. To make a waffle cone, they start with a lot of dark brown sugar. They add caramel coloring, along with some secret flavoring ingredients. They pipe water into the blender. It's ice cold to keep the batter from getting too sticky. A computer controls the flow of flour into the mix from a tank a floor above. They add vegetable oil as a giant beater mixes all the ingredients. The batter then flows out of the blender and into a refrigerated tank. At this point, the blend is the consistency of pancake batter and an agitating blade keeps it that way. Next, nozzles deposit measured amounts of batter on a baking plate that looks like a moving waffle iron. Top plates flip down and the baking plates roll through a gas-heated oven for a quick bake. The top plates lift up, revealing the cooked waffle patties. Automated arms help transfer the patties to rolling tools. The tools grab the patties and twist them into cones. The cones fall down a chute and ride an open elevator up and down to cool and harden. The waffle cones slide down another chute and move into lanes on a conveyor. Automated fingers adjust their position to prepare them to slide into paper jackets. A computer with a camera eye counts the cones and sends a message to a machine that stacks them in the right increments. Here, a technician activates a device that pushes on a ball inside a cone to test the cone's breaking point, proving this waffle cone can hold up to voracious snacking. Over in the sugar cone department, the baking plate system is designed differently. It makes patties that are fan-shaped and have a flat edge. This, combined with the type of batter used, means sugar cones are stronger than waffle cones, so they're a more popular choice for hard ice cream. Packers stack the cones in styrofoam trays. Then the packages travel through a curtain of high-density polyethylene film. A heated sealer finishes the wrapping job. An x-ray machine sends information about the contents to a computer that counts the cones and alerts the company to any problems. Next, automated arms pick up cartons and open them so the packs of cones can be inserted. Meanwhile, they mix up colorful batches of cake cone batter. Cake cones are less sugary and have a more cake-like texture, as the name implies. They pump the batter into upright molds. Cake cones are shaped very differently than waffle and sugar cones. They have flat rather than pointed bottoms. Metal cores plunge into the molds to complete the shape. This action also affects the texture of the cake cone, so it turns out flakier. They pass by a gauntlet of gas heaters to bake them. The cake cones then fall down a chute and head towards the packaging station. Unlike the other cones, they don't need a long cooling down period. They come out flaky and crisp. A mechanical arm picks up paper sleeves and drops them in front of the cones. It's all perfectly timed. These cones are now on their way to an ice cream stand near you, where in their various shapes and sizes, they'll be used to dish up ice cream lickety-split. <laughs>